I don't try to like advertise this, but for anybody that's wondering, yes, I am natural. Like some people ask me from time to time in the comments. The only things that I do take are from the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood. Join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. All right, all right, great day, baby. It is 10.03, I've got 57 minutes to get this push day workout in and get something to eat in my system because I'm getting a vasectomy today. They're gonna cut open my nut sag and uh, make me sterile. And you can't eat three hours prior to that. So, you know me, I'm always crunching it into the last minute. But it's gonna make me move fast, silver lining. And it's gonna make me get a good sweat going and push the intensity and uh, keep it moving. So today, all that being considered, I think I'm gonna do two uh, very hard sets on three different exercises for the chest. I'm gonna go uh, barbell incline press, weighted dips, machine press. And then I'm gonna dust it off with the triceps, V-bar push downs, and easy bar curls. This will be the last workout I get for the next two, three days. So I'm gonna make it count and uh, get after it. I'm gonna go warm up. All right, here we go, Work the first working set. Um, as I was working up to this, 225 actually felt surprisingly heavy. And uh, I'm not sure if that's because my recovery's been so bad with just terrible nights of sleep, you know, getting maybe five hours a night, uh, pathetic. But, um, or because I took that week off break and, and the progress goes real quick when you're in your mid 30s. So. Uh, either way, building back up, it's not going to stop me, but just an observation, This I'm not sure how this is going to go. And matter of fact, I should probably turn on something a little more up-tempo than Johnny Cash to get the endorphins running a little bit because I'm going to need it. Let's go. Uh, Logic Perfect is always my, my go-to. Something about that beat feels like just a hard, old-school 90s beat banger. I'm loved and I'm hated. That happens sometimes. Ah, I guess I'll rest that down there. It's the first time for everything. Never failed on a bench press ever. <laughs> so I was actually kind of pumped about how that one felt. Lana M. Hey, what's up, Ev? For people like me. Tigs out, baby. <laughs> Even though that weight buried me on rep 10, I'm gonna stick with the weight and challenge myself to just see how many reps I can get after about a three minute rest where I should be mostly fully rested. Three to four minutes when you go failure, you got zero reps in the tank. Um, you wanna give yourself about three to four minutes if you want to be as strong as you can be for the next set while not resting too long to where uh, you're kind of cooling down. Um, so <clears throat> I'm just going to do this one more set on the incline and per usual, I'm running short on time. So I'm going to ax the machine press and just do two heavy sets of dips. And, uh, I'll feel pretty good about that, especially going heavier and going to failure. So only four sets of chest kind of per se that's chest and triceps on the dips. Um, but, um, you know. Make do with what you got. That'll, that'll buy me the two or three days rest that I'm supposed to have based on whatever my doctor says. So, um, And then I'm going to just do a couple sets of V-bar pr press downs, quick biceps, get a pump in there. You know, um, I'm doing those most days. The only day of the week of my split that I'm not doing arms is leg day. And it, it's not just for the volume, but I noticed, like, say, if I got the same amount of volume, but I spread it 
you know, I did it one time a week or two times a week or, you know, a few days apart. It gives my, my arms are so stubborn. It gives them enough time to kind of wither away in, this, in that meantime. So I, every day I'm kind of hitting them just to remind them, hey, I'm not forgetting about you. You better grow. We're going to stay in this inflamed state and you're going to continue to build. And, uh, you know, it's a very meathead approach, but it also makes sense. The more you do something, the better it's going to get. So um, if you put a huge focus on one thing, that thing is going to grow. Um, you know, you're putting more effort into it. You're thinking more creatively about how can I target these in a way? How can I, you know, do some supersets and pump more blood in, go heavy on this day, go lighter on this day, try different exercises, that kind of focus and intensity doing the arms that often reminds my, my subconscious to, it's just always thinking about it, going to work on it, um, to where I put more of an intention behind it when I'm working out, I need to grow those things. So, whoa, let's do this. This is certainly not the song to lift to. Let's see. That'll do. That'll do. Let's go. I typically have a big drop off from one set to the next. I've been told it's because I have a lot of fast twitch fibers compared to maybe slow, slow fibers. And that's why I've always gassed out, you know, past 40 yards, I, I just hit the wall on a sprint, but similar to, to bench. So if I could get seven, I would feel pretty happy about that. Whew, we'll see. Oh. I'm not going to get greedy this time. That was good. Okay. Dips. So doing weighted dips in honor of my nutsack losing a little bit of weight after today. So I got 90 pounds strapped to it and I'm going to take this for a ride on the dips. What's up, big boy? How you doing? Yo, he's in that box right there. Potato head. Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> Uh, so I'll do one more set and strap a 25 to it. So that'll put me at 115 pounds for set two. Try to push myself to hit uh, anywhere from six to eight. And for the sake of time, I'm going to work an antagonist muscle uh, that's not being worked on the dip. So I'm going to do my curls between my dips. <sighs> Ah, uh, that's fun. Okay. I'll have to keep them real tight. Uh. Uh. Going 40 pounds on a slight incline. Really stick your chest out, stretch at the bottom. One of the only exercises that truly gets my biceps sore every time I can count on it. I've got very stubborn biceps. Most exercises that uh, people fit very well into. I don't feel anything going on activation wise in them. I get no burn in there. Uh, so if you got stubborn ones like me, give this a shot because it definitely has helped me. Uh, okay. Ooh. So after doing the unthinkable, which I said I would not do this year, Life smacked me in the face with a bunch of stuff all at once, you know, not just the Super Bowl weekend stuff that I did, but tons of auditions within that span of time as well. And I stopped working out for a week. And you find at mid, mid 30s, I'm 35, the new gain progress can go, go away very quickly. Um, so not only did I put a little bit of a layer on, but you know, my arms weren't, weren't quite as juicy as they were. And everything deflated a little bit. Now around that same time, I also stopped taking creatine. So it's hard to know where to attribute it, but I've been lifting long enough to know, you know, I, I, I can lose, lose, thing, lose weight very quickly and put it back on very quickly. I can adapt that muscle memory 
um, can move real quick, which is why that first post of the year where I said, you know, hey, I'm 223 right now. At the end of the year, I, I want to be 240 lean. People would say there's no way anyone could do that naturally. I played, I've been 245 pounds. I hit my adult weight at 17 years old and maintained that through my entire NFL career. You know, but depending on the year and how many calories you're burning and not knowing how to eat and injuries, I would range anywhere from that 235 to 245 range. So I've been very, very big before, which is why I knew I'll get this. I'll, I'll definitely get there. My muscle memory is there. But I'm finding, no, I almost don't want to even say that. That just because I'm, I'm getting older. I'm not getting older. That's, that's an excuse. I don't make excuses. Um, it's not right now coming back as quickly as maybe it has in the past. But we're going to get there. I don't try to like advertise this, but for anybody that's wondering, yes, I am natural. I, some people ask me from time to time in the comments. Um, the only things that I do take are like the basics, the, the whey proteins, creatine, pre-workout, fish oil, vitamin D, um, MCT oil, multivitamins. I take animal pack multivitamin. Um, and that's really it. But right now I'm not on any of it. Uh, for whatever reason, my, my, my free code for Isatory doesn't work anymore. And I, I think it might have been at the end of the six month uh, duration anyhow. So I was wanting to go with a different company anyhow. And um, I'll keep you posted on where I, where I go with that. Still love Isatory. Their brand's great. Um, but there is brands that I've already used in the past that I want to reach out to and see if we can, we can work something out. I've talked enough to go into my next set. Let's do this. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, forgot to push play on my first set of V-bar press downs, but I did 90 pounds for 10 reps and took it to failure on the 11th. Call it 10.5, huh? Here we go. 40 pounds here on the incline, dumbbell curl, really stretch it on the bottom. This whole thing is about the stretch. So stick your chest up, retract your shoulder blades. That gives you even greater stretch on the bottom. Uh, I usually go 30 pounds on here. 40 is a heavier load for me. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Ah. ah, come on, baby. Ah. I think that was nine. Last set of V-bar press downs. I know what you're thinking. Only two sets of arms, two sets of buys and tries. Well, I have an actual arm day where I get about usually six on each and then three other, three or four other days throughout the week, I'm hitting arms again, but two sets of each. So, um, I think it comes out to closer to like 15 working sets each week on the arms. Unless I like these little end of the workout dust offs. Just show them a little love, you know, like a fullback. He's just a lead blocker. He's a glorified offensive lineman, but keep him happy. Give him a carry a game. You know, that, that keeps him going. Keeps him interested. Keeps him thinking, my, my, my number may get called. I'm still a skill player. Yeah. Oh. Ah. That's it, baby. Go get you some. Go get yours. What are you becoming? A little more something every day. You're getting better, you're getting worse. There's no stagnancy. Get after it. Also, is stagnancy a word? I don't know, but I just made it up, so it is.